very sad situation happened over the weekend. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a post that 17 year old Lil Tay had undergone heart surgery to which every single person on the internet responded, girl, be fucking for real. Because Yep, TMZ Verify the Podcast. I'm wild. I'm Stephanie. What up, Steph? I never say my full name. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> you want to drop your last name, too? <laughs> Stephanie Renee York Williams. Ah, you ain't got to drop the whole thing. <laughs> uh, what up, y'all? We got some spicy stories today. And by spicy, I mean accusations of sexual harassment, alleged heart surgeries, and... An endorsement. Wow. I know. I, I am really drama. That shit is not that spicy. So I'm going to tell y'all, Mr. Beast and Amazon, they're being sued by contestants from that, like, Mr. Beast reality show. God, it was ne it's never ending. There's, like, the squid games for influencers. <laughs> uh, Lil Tay, over the weekend, break it, breaking news. I had alerts going off on my phone. People texting me, hitting me up. They're like, your girl is in the hospital. <laughs> Lil Tay. Wild DM me over the weekend, and it was just a picture of, and I was like, no context. I think I've seen this film before. Like, she's already done this, I feel like. Lil Tay was photographed and videographed, I don't know if that's the right word, in a hospital. And she revealed, or she captioned the photo and video and suggested that she had to undergo very serious heart surgery. Same. Well, <laughs> Stop. We will give you all the details because she has responded to people like you who have come out being like, we don't believe you, Lil Tay. She's responded to that. This is real serious. Okay. Do you believe it? Don't answer that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and last week we talked about Taylor Swift. She came out. She endorsed Kamala Harris. Well, now someone else has come out and endorsed Kamala Harris. Stay tuned to find out who. And mean comments. We're going to get to those at the end of the show. They're a little nice this week. So... You guys got to really rev it up. We go, week. step it up. Stop being so nice. <laughs> All right, Mr. Beast, y'all. Mr. Beast, Amazon Studios, they are being sued by contestants that were a part of the Beast Games. So Mr. Beast had his own version of, like, Squid Games, but Mr. beast -ified. Um, So we have been hearing, like, <laughs> little, like, little rumblations. Oh, there I go, throwing Asian behind the word again. We have been hearing little, like, rumors and tidbits about how allegedly horrible it was on the set. Like, complaints on complaints on complaints. Guys, I've been hearing about this since I started working here, and I've been working here for three years. Like, <laughs> people have been complaining about the environment, the toxicity. Well, now, five unnamed contestants that were a part of the show, they have come out, they have sued Mr. Beast and Amazon, and they have alleged some spicy, spicy things. So, but one, they claim that Mr. Beast and Amazon, they failed to pay minimum wages and overtime. Okay, first of all, the fact that Mr. Beast is only paying minimum wage is a damn joke. That because is really crazy. That's ridiculous. Failed to prevent sexual harassment, <gasps> created conditions that subjected contestants to the, quote, infliction of emotional distress. Wait. This they, is crazy. they claim they did not provide participants with inter uninterrupted meal breaks or rest breaks. So basically, they didn't allow people to take a break in the middle of their show. There would be breaks, but the breaks would be, like, interrupted. Like, oh, you can eat, but you got to eat and stand up and go back to work, allegedly. They went on to say that contestants were exposed to, quote, dangerous circumstances and conditions as a condition of their employment. So, like, they were put in spicy and potentially dangerous situations, but that would, but were told, like, that's a part of working here, bro. Allegedly. Wow. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the rest. This is crazy. So there have been these, like, they've been having, like, little seasons of the show for some time. Like, thousands of people, like, auditioning and try to get on this show. Because Mr. Beast, y'all, is, like, the biggest YouTuber around. U YouTuber. Why I say that so weird? <laughs> he is, though. Like, I would say Mr. Beast is probably. Every video is. Probably, like, Ryan. Literally million under, yeah, like, yeah, 15 yeah. minutes. No. He, so everybody was trying to, like, get in on this. Also, Squid Games, really popular show. Yeah. So, like, it was. At least designed to be something that was like kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But according to these five unnamed contestants, it did not work out like that. Do you have thoughts, Steph? Yeah, I I guess I'm just... You think when you, you know, some people idolize these YouTubers sort of as like your one and only faith celeb, right? True. And 
you probably put up with a little bit more stuff if they're like your favorite favorite. So like POV, Mr. Beast is your favorite and now you're going to go work for him. You're probably really excited. And for these to be the conditions is really shocking. I mean, it's, that's my only answer. Is I mean, my only, yeah, like it's pretty shocking. Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised, not surprised, but like if the allegations are true, right. which obviously we have no idea. Like it does seem a little like interesting for Amazon Studios not to be on top of certain things like work breaks or like paying people. Right. And it seems like a big production, especially if you mm -hmm. like watch it on YouTube. Like there's a lot of people involved. Yeah, so like, you're saying that I'm not saying these things aren't true. I'm just saying it's I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Because sure, it is yeah. shocking compared to like who he is and how his channel mm -hmm. operates. I don't know him personally, but right. he seems like a really sweet like guy who wants everyone to be blah blah mm -hmm. blah but maybe this is one of those things where it's like maybe he isn't as sweet as we think oh. or maybe he's not on top like i feel like a lot of the time that these things happen it's because mr beast doesn't have a hand on things as close right. as like we would hope there's like a person hired to like handle payroll like right. mr beast maybe ain't he's checks. not even there during yeah. the day like we don't know that's a good point um would you ever work for something other than money like because, like, I feel like sometimes, or at least, like, not everybody in this situation, but I'm sure there were some people who went to the this show just to be, kind of be a part of, like, the thing. Like, it was a big YouTube production. Yeah. It was super popular. Like, I feel like if it's your favorite, favorite celebrity, mm -hmm. you do make a little bit of, like, like a, Lana Del Rey needs an assistant and these are my conditions. I might put up a little. Ah, <laughs> you go, fuck the food. Like, right. <laughs> but, again, eat. if it was, like, you and you were the celebrity, and right. I had to, I'd be like, this guy sucks. Like, you know what I mean? It, it depends yeah. on who the celeb is. If it was like, um, who's someone everyone loves that I like don't understand? Like uh, Chrissy Teigen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. get me out of here. Okay. Lawsuit. I feel like we also work in entertainment. So it's like, so hard to ask. It's like because we like shut the fuck up and deal with it. Like working in entertainment is like one of those things where it's not like super like gentle all the time or right. like politically correct sometimes you're just need like, to be lucky to be there that's well, the vibe that but also like we got a freaking job to do around here like nobody got time to be yeah. maybe stepping you through life right yeah we, we're the worst people to ask about this right that's what i was just saying but however if these people were not fed mr beast please like you gotta feed people yeah and also at that point if you have that much money and that much success it is now your responsibility mr beast to be like What's going on? Make sure it stuff's together. Mm -hmm. All right. But I hope in the lawsuit, okay, go ahead, go ahead. taking advocate's side, mm -hmm. let's say I'm POV, I'm Mr. Beast, mm -hmm. come up to me and say, I haven't been fed. If these people were like a little bit silent, I hate someone who's silent and is like, like having in an the issue. time. In the yeah, moment, because silent. I could totally see that these people are like talking shit in the corner and they're like, oh my God, we're not eating. Like, this is crazy. Like, mm. and then Mr. Beast doesn't know because he's in his trailer. Bro. With it's possible gourmet Craig's food. It's you like, have to communicate. Like I hate people do that a lot. They like, do that a lot. Where they like be like, well, six months ago I was thirsty. It's like okay, you didn't say. You didn't tell me. <laughs> like, like I that happens to me a lot. I feel like no, for sure. For Even sure. with friends, like I'll be mm -hmm. like, they'll be like, I really think it's fucked up that you said this. Oh, you did. Ago. I'm like, okay. So you do that, girl? No, I don't. Oh my god. Oh, we're not going to do this right now. Please. Please It's never stop. like six months, but it'll be no. like two days before you go. Yeah, I didn't like what you said. I'm fine with ago. two days. <laughs> I go, two days ago, I really didn't like it. What's the statute of limitations on? on? Uh, two days. Okay. Like 24 hours. So if you didn't eat at Mr. Beast's show, you had 24 hours to let him know you didn't because eat. Because at that point, you're just bringing up old stuff. <laughs> like, it's giving they didn't get hired for season two and they're mad. Like... Okay, I know, but right. if these were actually the conditions, like, I'm sorry, I, yeah. I take it back. We talk about everything, but, like, some, you know. Remember, this is a show. I have to keep it entertaining. Wait, keep the people fed. All right, moving on. Please. I, um, very sad situation happened over the weekend. I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw a post that 17-year-old Lil Tay had undergone heart surgery. And the caption read, I will read it verbatim. We are overjoyed to share that Tay's open heart surgery was a great success. We are deeply thankful to our surgeon, cardiologist, and the team who are the best in the world. To which every single person on the internet responded, girl, be fucking for real. Because <laughs> now, we should say, we have not been able to confirm or deny whether, 
whether Lil Tay actually underwent open heart surgery over the weekend. But nobody on the internet believes this. Particularly Listen, because why, Steph? Um, this has happened before. It was worse before. Death. <laughs> I, I don't know. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If she actually went through open heart surgery and she survived it and it went well, I'm very happy for you. Mm -hmm. That is obviously great news. If you're lying, let's wrap up the career because I'm over it. We can't be faking deaths and faking heart surgeries when you don't get enough attention. And like the only time I hear about you in the past three years has been death, death open heart surgery, open heart surgery custody. custody. Drama. Suing like, my dad. Like, you know what I'm saying? What What are you even famous for? I forgot. Because you only do this now. The flashing the money and being like. Okay, that might be over. <laughs> if this is a lie. Like, you can't be lying about death and heart surgeries. So if y'all don't remember, back in 2023, so la literally last year, Lute, her social media accounts were allegedly hacked. And the hackers posted that Lute was dead. R.I.P. And everybody was crying. By everybody, I mean me. <laughs> but like people were like, oh my God, is this so sad? It was a big deal, yeah. It was a big deal. We thought she died. Mm -hmm. Come find out her ass is still alive. Like, so we don't, and then a few months later, she dropped the music video, or a little bit later, she dropped the music video. So we don't know, Little Tay, I cannot be standing up here dying on this hill for you every week. If, you, if Little Tay has one fan, it's this guy. <laughs> like, I think really that's the truth though. I, when I when you sent it to me over the weekend, I just were you it, not? Sad? I know you didn't have a little. No, I went mm. not even the slightest. Like because I just think that at some point, once uh, you run out of things to, and again, if she had an open heart surgery and this is real, I'm the worst and like let's cancel me. But if she's lying about this, that's really really messed up. So Lil Tay's social media account, we don't know if it was her particular specifically, but. Lil Tay's social media accounts have since come out and they have, they're basically firing back at the narrative that like, this might not be true, despite the fact that Lil Tay has been involved in these hoax, hoax scandalish incidents in the past. They said, the accusations that Lil Tay's health crisis is for publicity are false and disgusting. Mm. That goes on to say, if publicity or money were our goal, she would not have gone MIA for over a year. Instead, she would have posted every day to her millions of fans and done PR runs like every other celebrity and dropped music every month. Okay, well, not to be rude, but she did try to drop some music. The bottom line is no one cared. So and that's not... And I, I wouldn't know if she hasn't been on because I that's how irrelevant... But irrelevant. I have to start that over. I <laughs> go cannot ahead, go put ahead. that in. I wouldn't know if you haven't been on the internet in a year because you're that irrelevant. Points. To made. So it's giving she has to fake a crisis in order to get clicks and money. And my solution to that is um, maybe uh, apply somewhere else. To where? The local Walmart? <laughs> I don't know what skills you have. Did you go to school? No, she did not go to college. Mm -hmm. She's only 17. Did you go to high school? It's giving, uh, I don't know. I can't confirm, can't confirm or, de can't confirm or <laughs> deny. All I'm saying is you can't be lying about heart surgeries and things, okay? All I'm, okay, think about your life, okay? Mm -hmm. When have you ever fake died? Never. When have you had open heart surgery? This yeah. is all in the span of a year where no one cares about her anymore? You're saying that's coincidence? If it is, if you apologies. are, If you are listening on like Apple or Spotify or wherever you get your podcast, you have to go to YouTube and watch the video right now because there is... Lil Tay, the video they posted of her, y'all, she is lying in the hospital bed. I'm smiling, but I should not be smiling. She is lying in the hospital bed, like, okay, also, fully machined up, slumped over to the side. Okay. Breathing real slow. Okay. If we know Lil Tay, right, in her past <sighs> with the money, you don't think she'd capitalize off a heart surgery situation? She'd be like, wait, day one of my heart surgery prep. That's what the internet's saying. Mm. Lotte is saying, it's not the case. Okay. You go, I <laughs> <laughs> Just, Okay, well, <laughs> we need, all right, girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, all right, moving on. Billie Eilish has joined Taylor Swift in the fight to get Kamala Harris elected as the president of the United States of America. What I have to say to that? Good job. Okay, Billie Eilish, she came out and she had 
I don't like calling them our sidekick, but it was her and Phineas, her brother, in a video, and they came out and they talked about why they're endorsing Kamala Harris. Here's what she said. Today is National Voter Registration Day, and we are asking you to please join us in going to IWillVote.com to check your status and vote early like we do. We are voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls because they are fighting to protect our reproductive freedom, our planet, and our democracy. We can't let extremists control our lives, our freedoms, and our future. The only way to stop them and the dangerous Project 2025 agenda is to vote and elect Kamala Harris. Vote like your life depends on it, because it does. Go to IWillVote.com and make a plan to vote early. Love you guys. Okay. That brother, fine. You like, you into Phineas? He's cute. You are the first person I've no, ever I'm heard not. say no, that I'm Phineas not. is fine. Google. Okay. He's cute. What is it? Is it like a... You know what I'm into. Like a weird, like, hipster. Slightly quirky... Oh my god, he's so sweet, but he's like an asshole secretly. I'm not saying that's Phineas, it just gives off that vibe. Okay, Phineas, her name is Stephanie. No, Renee. I like his girlfriend. <laughs> Claudia, his girlfriend, is like literally the hottest person I've ever seen. Oh, so Billie Eilish, she came out, she voiced her support for Kamala Harris. Um, a lot of people are probably not happy about this. Trump fans, and if I had to guess, Donald Trump himself is also not happy. I don't think Donald Trump knows about this, by the way, because this only recently happened. We filmed the show on Wednesdays, y'all get published on, gets published on Thursdays. This tweet or video got posted late, like Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. By this weekend, somebody gonna let him know that Billie Eilish is not on his side, and we will get a. I her songs aren't even that good. <laughs> I hate Billie Eilish. Yeah, I don't know why she dressed like that with the stupid green hair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, I will say though, like. I know that there's a lot of, like, pushback about, like, celebrities endorsing political candidates. But, like, I would like to see the Republican-leaning celebrities, like, come out and support their boy. Like. They can't. Where's Jason Al? Where's Jason Aldean? I don't know if that's, I don't know if Jason Aldean is one for Donald Trump. Oh, I can't say that. Don't forget, guys. What do we hate on this podcast? Cheaters. Jason Aldean. <sighs> Try that in a small town. Um. <sighs> Oh my god. The level of shade that just went through the two of us about Jason Aldean is fucking wild. If you uh, You but can't like, look like that cheat and support Trump. Like, come on. Um, but like who? Like, you know, I, I would I don't want to say I would appreciate it because I'm not voting that way, but like I think that multiple voices are important in any election cycle. Really? Regardless of what Because last week Yeah, I don't I want to run the I, tapes back. You said yeah. that I don't you don't think it has that much of an effect on who wins? No, I said multiple voices, political voices, I'm meaning. So, like, Republican voices are important and Democratic voices. Oh, are you're not saying that. What do you mean I'm not saying that? I'm not, no, I'm not, I don't think that celebrity voices are important, but I think that is oh, important okay, to hear. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, both yeah. sides, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, both sides should get, like, not equal love, but, like, they you know can't what I'm saying? Equal but publicly platforms. speak on Trump. Why do you think so? Because, pup, like, let's say, you were a Trump supporter. Please. Okay? Let's say. Please. Let's say. I'd rather clean the streets of Los Angeles with a toothbrush. Let's say you were. Okay. Okay. You can't tell anybody about it because anyone who likes you will hate you now. I feel like that's the thing that people say, but like, I know a few Trump supporters. Am I friends with them? No. Would I like to be friends with them? No. But do I particularly hate them as people? No. Right. But what if you have friends that you want to keep? Bro. I guess. Yeah, it's not. It's just the way it is. Like, has it always been this way? I mean, we we you haven't know, been around for I that think long, but like, twenty twenty really. Twenty twenty really. Because we really went divide. Either you believe it or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Either and get vaccinated or you don't. True. So that's why they're not publicly speaking on it. Damn. Okay. Okay. I will say though. Beyonce, you got 24 hours to respond to this. Because Wild. <laughs> because come on. We got if the if the white women can step up and jump on and champion for Kamala Harris, come on. I'm not saying shit. But you but you know what I'm saying. Like, Beyonce, I need a hardcore, like, you letting her use the song for her campaign trail is great and all. I wonder who like, Diddy's voting for. Please. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's really get someone who's in the Are spotlight. Are you allowed to vote? Let's you get in someone. Jail? Who's, you, no one's more in the spotlight right now than Diddy. Why doesn't he just say who he's voting for and we will do the opposite? And, uh, <laughs> Wait, that might not work in people's favor because he's probably, he's definitely probably Democratic leaning. 
We don't want. That's one endorsement. The Harris campaign is like, no, we're good. Kamala's paying him to talk about Trump. <laughs> <laughs> They're paying him to not say anything. Please, Diddy, please. please. Huh. All right. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see what celebrities come out and endorse who and how this all plays out. All right. Thanks. Time to move on to our favorite new segment. You guys really didn't kill it this week with the good comment. The comments. All right. It's time for mean comments. Dun, da, da, dun. All right, Steph. You want to kick us off today? News. Joanne Stone Barger, 3545. Good okay. job to you two. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you. This comment is from Gabriel Peter 1102. Shout out to Gabriel. I think he's like one of our most loyal listeners. Love you, Gabe. Thanks. Uh, he said, if I had to pick just one of you to hang out with over the weekend, <gasps> I would have to beg you two to make up your differences so we could all three go hang out instead. Gabe, we're best friends. We're, what do you mean? Yeah, we're I just, don't. You clearly don't watch the pod because. Don't be. Why you be? Stop being mean. <laughs> why are you commenting willy nilly? Watch the app. He watches our show. Then why don't you think we're friends? Oh my god, he's just saying he wants. I'm fighting one. with everyone. You are fighting with people. Please. <laughs> okay, he goes on to say, "You're both so funny." I love him, but we're all friends. We don't need to like put our differences aside. He gives you more compliments by saying. We are practically the dynamic duo of TMZ. And he goes on to say, tell Harvey Levin oh. from me, from Gabriel Peter, that you guys need to be getting a raise. Oh, my God. I love this guy. Oh, and then he but says, just know that we're not enemies. We're like best friends. And then he says, I'll party with you any day, Gabe. Put Steph on some more shows. The people want to see and hear her. Wait, I like love this guy. Exactly. Apologize. I'm not going to apologize because I You're really need you to know that we are actually friends. So we can go out drinking anytime, Gabe. That's all I'm trying to say is that we're b best friends. And I'm apologizing yes. for everything I said about you not watching the show because <laughs> I just really am eating my words right now. I'm really fired up on the behind the scenes of things in this office right now, Gabe. And maybe we can I can vent to you sometime. Okay. About what's going on behind the scenes. Right. Why I was so angry. Do you want to read our last comment? Love you, Gabe. That was really sweet of you. <laughs> um, TMZ Audio oh. Network. Nice content. I loved it. Thank you so much, uh, I-O-S-A-R-B-X. All right. Thank you. Love it. We appreciate that. Gabe, circling back. <laughs> love you so much. Let's go out to drink. I'm down. All right. Start we got to get out of here. Start a group message on IG. Thanks a lot for... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's a crazy episode. Shit's going on in the office, guys. Like We are really in distress. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like and follow. Subscribe to the show. Love you, Everywhere. Love comment. You, rate us. Please leave your mean comment. Me but and they, Gabe, like this. Girl, Close. we got to get out of here. Peace out. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>